Hello and welcome to another episode of our Tottenham Save. I am Duper Daddy, and in this episode we will be going through our results. So in the previous parts for Season 2, the first stages of the season, you've seen our transfers, you've seen our tactics. And now I'm going to show you how they performed. So let's get to it. Right into our fixtures, I'm going to bring it up July and August. So our pre-season and first couple of games for the season. And as you can see, it started off really rosy. So we beat Cardiff 5-0, Nuremberg 6-0, Mainz 4-0. And then we go into August for Luris Testimonial. We drew 2 all, beat Inter Milan 4-1 at home. And then we finished off pre-season against Shakhtar 2-1. So a really, really good preseason. I was feeling very confident, but then again, last season, I felt confident too. And we went on that 27 game unbeaten run. Can we do it again this season? September. Look at those greens. Oh yeah. Just the way we like it. We had some tough games. Let's have a look. So West Ham, we beat 3-0. Southampton, we beat 4-1. Got a good start to our Champions League against Shakhtar. And then we beat Newcastle 4-2. I think I struggled against Newcastle last season. Or Mark Drew or lost. I can't remember. But 4-2. Fantastic. Then we beat Cholton in the uh, Carabao Cup. Third round. 3-0. Played my B team. As you can see. Goal scorers Perisic, Roden and Le Celso. I couldn't get rid of Perisic or Le Celso. Or who's the other one? Tembele? Tembele? Whatever his name is. He's, I don't even, I think I might have started in one game. Now with Les Celso, I actually don't want to get rid of him. Because he's actually been playing quite well as a spare Mazella for me. So spare for Camavinga if Camavinga gets injured or needs a rest. He's been quite good. And we, we you see that on the score sheets going in December when obviously the fixtures ramp up. It's the same with Perisic as well, to be fair, because he actually comes in now and again and he still gets an odd goal here and there. And they can be really important goals. But Les Celso, we got rid of, oh, not Winks. Who's the other one? Skip. We loaned him out to Bayern Munich, remember? So I had a gap, but I thought, ah, oh, Kalaveski could play there. But then... While I've got Les Celso and he's playing okay, why not? We're paying his wages, right? And if he's playing okay, let's utilise him. And then last game of September, away at Arsenal. Obviously, we know how well they're doing this season. We won 2-1. Now, this will be the first game we're going to go into. See if we can pinpoint some tactics. So I think I probably played my starting formation and then... Probably when we got the man sent off, I was already winning 2-1. And I probably played cautious. Good North London derby. Sun gets a ball there. See if you can spot pressing. See how Mazella does in Camavinga. I've put player names up there. Now, sometimes those player names can get in the way. But it is what it is. Oh, yeah, Smith Rowe. He had a really, really good game. We get free kick here. Sun. I think it's coming up to the goal now. You can see on for timeline. Yep, Sun gets through. Ah, oh, thundering shot. Obviously, set piece didn't quite work out, but we managed to get through there. Then Arsenal going on attack. So this is going to be Arsenal's goal. We Good tackle by Emerson Royal. Gets it up to Kane. I was going to say, watch out for that pass in the space. Beautiful. And Son. Oh, no, we go 2-0 up. So I thought it went 1-0. Yes, 2-0. I might already go cautious. Or at half time, maybe I'll go cautious. Right, what's next? Booking, maybe? Or a chance? A oh, beautiful play by Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe, and he thunders it over. He played really well. I just think his finishing let him down. I think he might have actually scored a goal. Oh, great save. A little like save. That must have hit crossbar. Here you go, Smith Rowe, second half. Here you go, here's Arsenal's goal now. Smith Rowe. Cobell could have done better, right? Could have got, could have got his hand, he got his hand to it, but just for power. Came through. Oh, for red card. For red card. He wasn't even on a yellow. Wayberg, we've got the ball. Minje, Sessignon. Ah, yeah, look. Smith Rowe did him. And then Sessignon's reaction. Sent off. Yeah, from behind. 
But if you look at the stats, we <laughs> didn't play that great, to be fair. But then again, we got a man sent off 10 minutes to go. We got the quick fire double and we play cautious the rest of it. I think that shows actually that if you look at the HG, look at that. Second goal. I must have just went cautious. Away from home. Why not? And then, yeah, they get one back. We got a man sent off and they just couldn't get it. Couldn't get it. They had 15 shots, seven on target, two out of four and two on target. We shot twice and scored twice. It can happen to all of us, right? And when you do it to them, you're full of praise. So we've started off the season eight games unbeaten. Unbeaten in pre-season and eight games unbeaten in the league, Champions League and for Carabao Cup. And a vital North London derby win away at the Emirates. You can see I'm smiling. It's doing so well. Can it last? Unfortunately, it doesn't. And this is where we go into our next game. You're going to see the result up in top left. We was away against Real Madrid. We lost 3-1. First game of the season, we lose Real Madrid. Not bad, right? Not bad. Let's just see how we lost. Senzo, great ball to Benzema. But we keep it out from our goal. Came with the shot and nothing. So in for first minute, they nearly scored and we had a great chance. Now this is a goal. Who's it going to be? I don't know what Emerson Royal was doing. Let's just pause that for a minute. Watching our centre back. What's our in for middle? Who was it? I don't know who it was. Might have been Sessegnon, Minjay. I don't know, but they, they kind of ducked down. That down and let the ball go over their head and it goes to Benzema. That's it. 1-0, we're losing. Sun with counter-attack and gets double teamed. Double teamed. Right, second half. Senso over to Vinny and it's 2-0. Too easy past our defence. Playing a little bit better football, I think. I think it's because I'm playing all-out attack. As you can see, look, see those three players really, really centre together. Go on, Collison can find it. Watch out for passing space. Uh, it was just a good pass. And Mokioko gets one back for us, 2-1. We're losing 2-1. Ninth second minute. Oh, Romero just couldn't get for Lataro. Tackle on Lataro. And they make it 3-1 in the ninth second minute. So we lost our first game of the season away to Real Madrid. Is this now going to be downturn of our season? We ended up winning one, two, three, four, five games on the drop. So it was just a one-off. Just a one-off against Real Madrid. Whew. Saved. Saved. <laughs> it's a shame because if you think about it, all of those greens in August and October, with the exception of drawing our first game of the season against Everton. Yeah, it's going all right. It's going all right. So we're into October. So let's quickly look at this. We lost to Real Madrid 3-1 away. We Next game, Man United. We win 1-0 at home. And then Wolves, we beat 3-1. Going to a Champions League game against Olympiacos. Oh my God, this game, 7-1. I really, I don't know how we conceded a goal, but... We was winning 5-0 at halftime and we should have probably won this. I thought we were going to break a record because we scored so quick. I thought it was going to be 10-0 plus easily. And then we go on to another home game, Aston Villa. We win 3-0. Blackpool in for Carabao, fourth round. We win 2-0 at home. On to November. And again, we continue winning a draw there. But Stamford Bridge. Not the easiest place to go to. We get a draw. Let's run through these. Norwich, we won 3-0 away. Olympiacos, second for away leg. Well, not a leg, but for away match. We won 2-0. Brentford, we won 3-0 at home. And then we played Chelsea away and we drew 2 all. Last game, Real Madrid. We beat 1-0, 94th minute. 94th, 94th. Rick Carlison comes off the bench and scores. Let's dive in. Let's have a look. Team played really well. Kane played an awful 6.3. But team played well. Considering you're playing Real Madrid and to get these sevens, 15 shots, six on target, 
they got nine to their five. Let's jump in. Oh, and Real Madrid got a man sent off. But I still feel like that we would have got something in the game, whether it be a draw or win. Oh, look at that post by Kane. See this one, they missed a penalty. Look at the timeline. It's got that red X with a goal. I mean, do it with uh, balls as well if it's a missed chance. Some with corner. Oh, Minjay, that near post. I don't know if it's a double yellow. We'll find out now because it's going to be a red. And Son goes down. It's Otovio. Yudogi to Brian. Oh, great save by Kotor. Yeah, Yudogi. Yudogi looks good. Sasanyan needs to carry on. And look at that. Beautiful, beautiful pass into a box. And we won 1-0 to do that in the 94th minute. And we will just bring up for history and look. Yeah, okay, it was quite tight. And again, this is based on for XG match story. And sometimes, sometimes, especially non-league, I'm just sitting here going, how did you work that one out? The more higher level you go, for XG actually becomes quite relevant. So we go into the last month for this video, and that's December. We're going to play 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 games. Now, I'm going to unreveal them one by one. Man City, we drew at home. Ball draw, not going to show you that. And then Shakhtar, we drew away, played our B team, won all. Beat Brighton 4-1. As you can see, I think we played, rested some players again in that game. Mokyoko, Perisic, two goals, Perisic. And then Leeds United, we lose 3-1. Oh my God, look at this game. Look at this XG first. How did we not score more and how did we not win then match stats are even worse bring that out we had 14 corners 62 percent possession i'm working my way up clear cut chances two to their one off target we had 15 shots off target on target 11 39 shots xg 3.69 to their 1.37 but xg was 1.37 but somehow they scored three goals and we scored one it was like it was wrong way around for xg because in real terms we lost 3-1 but they're saying that actually it round it up should have been 4-1. 13 games unbeaten between Real Madrid and Leeds. Couldn't continue it. I don't know why we lost that. Maybe, maybe what it was. Resting players in the Brighton game and some in Shakhtar game. It lost that flow. And then we play Newcastle in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. We win on penalties. So back on winning ways. And then we played Leicester City away. And we won 3-1. Again, let's sell so on the score sheet again. Final game of this video and final game of December in 2022. I know it's not 22, it's 23 because we're a year ahead. Thinking of real life terms. We play Liverpool and we lose at home 3-2. I did try my attacking formation. They got a goal really quick as you've just seen. How many? Let's count. Should be five goals. One, two, three, four, five and a missed penalty. Wasn't it Kane? Oh no, Liverpool go 2 0 up in for 20th minute, 21st minute. But they really press. Look, they press in twos. They press how the pressing game should be done. Whereas we don't do that. Would I want that? I don't know. But anyway, Sun gets a penalty here. And obviously, Kane's going to take it. We already know that they're going to get. Uh, no one gets a man sent off. Oh yeah, he's going to check it out. It was a clear penalty. Kane with the penalty. Will he score? You know, great save from Allison. Great save. But Kane, I mean, considering he's finished in his like 19 and his penalty is 20 and his composure is 20, it should be a guarantee. I think he missed three penalties in a row for me. Really bad considering his stats. So again, does stats actually mean anything in Football Manager? Let me know your thoughts on that one. So, boys, there we've got a goal coming. They're 2 0 up. Can they go 3 0 up? I think they do, you know. Do they? No, we've got a chance here. Sun gets it through and we get the goal. Allison just couldn't quite put his hand to it, but he hands it into a goal. Whenever we play anyone, even when we played Arsenal, Chelsea, I'm like, our defense looks solid. Pinging the ball around, finding the space, creating. And then as soon as we played, even against Real Madrid, I didn't have any quarrels about the way we played. 
play against Liverpool and we just look like a totally different team. Just poor defending. Just not marking your man. Thing is, I can't just change it for one team, my whole structure. I have to find a way to beat Liverpool. Well, we did find a way. Tried it on this one and didn't work. And look, they just, they just break my defence. My defence was just like, no, I'm not interested. Uh, it's Liverpool. They're too good. We're going to let them win. Literally. And then Kane just went, yeah, it's Liverpool. I'm just not going to score a goal for you today. Make her go down for left. Just going to whip it in. No, oh, he gets a pass. He's running into a box and it. Nice finish by Les Celso. Les Celso. Camavinga's playing as well. I think I'm playing Camavinga where Basamone, Basoma plays. Les Celso there and Hoiberg defence midfield position. 87th minute. Do we get a chance? I think this, I think we do, you know, and I'm get out of my chair and I was proper like, come on, come on, come on. Son, into my go -go. Oh. He was offside anyway. He was offside anyway, he would not have counted. So, match story, we did get better. We did get better. So, yeah, really even game, as you can see on stats, even on shots, virtually even on target. We was better on XG. Uh, don't know why, because our clear ch cut chances was the same, so I don't know how that's quite worked out. Off target, three to their two. There we go. We are second in the league. Obviously, Liverpool beat us last game. We've got a game in hand over Leeds United, so I'm not worried about them. We're on 39 points. We've lost two games. That was against Leeds United at home and Liverpool at home. Home games. You know what? If they was both away, I'd be like, mm, you know, because my philosophy is always win your home games, every single one, draw all your away games, and you're going to get places. Or you can get up, be unbeaten. It's just frustrating. Goal difference is pretty good up there with Liverpool. I have a feeling Liverpool is still too good in this game. Man City. Oh, Man City. Haaland is not enough for Man City. Guadalajara has been sacked and it's uh, Diego Simone who is their manager now and they are eighth. If he doesn't improve, he's going to see for door as well, I think. So Leeds United having a cracking season. Fourth place, Arsenal, then Newcastle, Man United, Chelsea, Man City and then down in relegation, Brighton, Villa and Burnley. Da, 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 da. who's doing well is a player stat no shock here Highland is a top goal scorer then Kane Kane's, Kane's doing all right it's gone a little bit slow at the moment and then we got Salah with nine goals average rating we've got two of the top players there in second and third who is uh, Son and Kane assists Son's got seven about eight Cresswell eight so if you're looking up some players in the next couple of seasons or when you start the game Maybe Cresswell could be a good signing. Cresswell, it's only old now. 34, fair play. He is assisting. He is assisting well. He got five last season. How many in the league? Yeah, in the league, five and now eight. We go back now to for fixtures. And what have we got coming up? A lot of games against Man United. Four games against Man United. Three away and one at home. That there is going to be an interesting set of games. Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I haven't decided. I think because it's a semi-final of a cup and I could get into a final, that first leg I will probably play my strongest team available. And then at FA Cup, third round, I will probably play my B team, and then A team, and then A team, then B team. Sounds like a plan, right? I'm not going to go through the rest of it, but that's where we're going to get up to. When I release part two of this video, we will go through all these fixtures. Obviously not first part, but from January 1st, we're going to go through them all again. And... Transfer window. Do I need to sign in one? If you want to see what we do, you know what you need to do. Hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like so that it can go out to the world. Do its thing. If you don't give it a like, put down a comment. And let me know what you think of the video. But again, as always, thank you for watching and have a good day.